Hey, what is up guys? It's Wicked95 here, back with another video. Welcome to Wicked's Action Figure Reviews, and today we have another unboxing, another ultimate edition review and unboxing to do for you guys, and this time I have Stone Cold Steve Austin. This is a, I think this is from series, actually, series 9 ultimate edition. I don't really remember, 9 or 8 ultimate edition. Um, but if you guys didn't check out my Ric Flair one, I did one, uh, so go check it out. Link will be in the description of this video, as well as in my channel, so go check it out. Um, yeah, if you guys didn't see it, go check it out, I recommend it. We did a full in-depth review of that one, and now we're gonna do a, a full in-depth review of this Stone Cold Steve Austin, um, Ultimate Edition. This set is pretty strong. I mean, you got Ric Flair and you got Stone Cold Steve Austin. Um, I just thought that Ultimates were going to do like one modern, one legend. And in this case, we got two legends. Um, I'm not really sure what happened there. But with this Stone Cold, you get way more things than what you do with the Ric Flair. If you think that Ric Flair got some pretty good accessories, the Stone Cold is even way better. I mean, with the Ric Flair, you got three pairs of interchangeable hands. Two heads, a world title, and the robe. That was like five, six items. This Stone Cold, you get three interchangeable heads, three interchangeable hands, a microphone, the Attitude Championship, the uh, hat with the skull, the Austin 316 soft goods shirt, and the iconic Stone Cold Steve Austin um, vest. Plus, you get that chain that he has on him already, and you get a knee brace. Wow. Talk about bang for your buck. This action figure is dope. If you guys don't have a Stone Cold, recommend this uh, Ultimate Edition for sure. Just because you get a lot of accessories. It is an Ultimate. It's badass, you know what I mean? Um, I don't have a Stone Cold loose. I do have the Royal Rumble Stone Cold in the box. Which I haven't took, taken it out yet. But here you go. There's a few, front viewing window. The side right there with Stone Cold Steve Austin. Stone Cold's name on there. You also have the uh, picture of a figure right here with the belt. And a real life picture of Stone Cold Steve Austin. Represented with that same uh, belt uh, vest. You get Stone Cold Steve Austin right here. And then you have the uh, stats right there if you guys want to pause that. And you got a little bit of a uh, reading right here to do as well if you guys want to read that. But yeah, other than that, let's get into this unboxing. Um, like I said in my Ric Flair one, I got more. A couple of these Stone Cold, a couple of the Flares. I got one, basically three. One to open, one to keep in box, and one to sell. So if you guys are interested in getting a... Stone Cold Steve Austin or Ric Flair, let me know uh, on Instagram. Link will be in the description of this video. Uh, what else? I'm missing one more, I'm pretty sure. Yep. I always miss this one. And this one is uh, kind of damaged. So that's why I picked it up. So I can do a full review of the figure as well. You don't have to worry about, you know, ripping a good uh, mock box. Let's take let's take out these accessories first. You get the the um, the hat there. The Steve Boston. Ooh, the skull in the back. Austin three sixteen. Sweet. You also get the best. 316 Austin. Stone Cold right there. Pretty dope. You get a serious Stone Cold face. You get a kind of like a laughing face. And then you get the uh, like a grinning. I don't know. Sort of mad but not mad face. You get a scratch WWE logo. Um, Mike. Which I'm always happy to add mics to my collection. So I use them in my headset regularly as well. You got the blue strap attitude world championship. 
which um, we got one with the Ultimate Edition Triple H, but that one was with the black strap. You get this one on the blue strap. And then let me pop these uh, hands out, which this one, you also get pointing fingers. Um, they should have made the uh, middle finger up, but you know, since it is a kid's toy as well, they can't do that, but it would be pretty nice. Um, you get pointing fingers and you get these uh, closed fist hands. Um, what you guys know, I like putting my closed fist and my uh, one closed fist, one open mic hand. But since I don't think I'm going to use the Stone Cold in my thick bed, I won't really need to do any of that. Um, I'll probably do the pointing hands and have them in that pose. Now I'm debating to have the... Either the vest on or the shirt. I mean, the shirt is pretty sick, honestly. And I hate when they come with these, these um, little security tag uh, strap things. They take so much time to to pop out and stuff. But if you are gonna cut them out like I am just be careful not to cut yourself because they are kind of short and they're like on their feet so it is kind of awkward and there is the Steve Austin out of the packaging these little things just flew out I hate these Okay, let's take a look at them in a closer detail here. Um, like you said, you got these pointing pointing hands, which I think I'm going to put on his figure uh, for display. You have a pair of these closed fist hands. You get this hat with the skull, which is pretty dope. You get the blue strap attitude world heavyweight championship or WWE championship, which I forget at the time. This uh, Scratch Logo uh, microphone. Stone Cold Steve Austin iconic vest, which I think I'm going to display with. This laughing face. This more serious face, which I think I'm going to display him with this one. Or with this one, the one that he comes in with. And you get this uh, big gold chain, which is... Uh, held on pretty tight by this plastic strap and an e-brace which mine came folded so it looks kind of weird like that but yeah my first Stone Cold Steve Austin out of the packaging um let's go over the articulation like any Ultimate, I feel like this ultimate has way better articulation. Kind of loose though. Um, butterfly joints. They're not too bad. Let's see if this one's not. Yes, this one's not too loose. This one's pretty good, but my arm came off. <laughs> this is weird, man. Uh, double jointed elbows on both hands. Rotating hands, of course. Rotating head. Easy to rotate since his, his ball doesn't have hair. Uh, rotating um, waist. This is what I like about Ultimates comparing to like a uh, AEW Unrivaled or Unmatched that they don't, their waists don't move. This one you can rotate, of course. It does kick pretty high to do that stunner. Pretty cool. You do get rotation on the upper thigh. You also get a double jointed um, knee with uh, black knee pads and, of course, signature black trunks, which I forgot to mention. You have the cool Texas uh, tattoo there with the longhorn. And you have rotating um, short boots. Wow. And you do have some rotation or articulation, I should say, on the boot, on the feet there. A uh, nice ankle pivot as well. So pretty good. Stone Cold Steve Austin. I think this is a good playable figure. It feels good on the hand. Um, if I had to use them, it's definitely going to be worth it. 
just because it's it's really playable um now it's time to set them up as in my display like i mentioned i am gonna put them with this vest i would put the shirt on um only if we had like pants or shorts steve austin with shorts with this ultimate if he had shorts um there um i don't think i'm gonna display him with this championship definitely gonna be displaying him with the hat it's kind of short for that hat and i'm going to display him with the wow this one's tight oh shoot i almost dropped my camera uh, i'm gonna display him with these pointing hands Like, uh, like that type of card angle pose. I think that looks pretty dope. What do you guys think? How would you guys display this Stone Cold Steve Austin? You think this is how I'm going to display him? Unless I put the shirt in and then the vest over. But I really like the shirt. It's a pretty nice shirt. Austin 316. Um, Mike I'm going to use, uh, of course, in my... If I compare to the belt, I'm going to put them in my collection, and I don't know about the heads, but I kind of like this one unless I change it to the more serious face, or should I change it to the laughing face? Alright, let's put the serious face on. That's how this one looks. Wow, this thing is hard. There you go. Ooh, okay. I think I like this one better. Yeah, more serious stone cold face like that. Yeah, yeah, that's the winner for me. That is the winner for me. I'm gonna keep them like this. I like this face a lot though. This is a really, really cool face. Nailed it on the, on the likeness there, but that's gonna be the 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 pose right there that i'm going to put them on my shelf so this has been the ultimate edition uh stone cold steve austin uh unboxing and review for you guys let me know what you guys think let me know if you guys have the steve austin let me know if you're excited for the other uh, ultimate edition waves if you even collect these ultimates i started getting into these a little bit later after i got like finn balor and triple h and i started liking them so Pretty good. It sucks that they went up in price, but I think you're getting a lot of accessories for for the uh, figures themselves. So, yeah, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I have more videos coming up. Make sure to go follow my Instagram. Uh, get me to um, the 100 subs here on YouTube, and I'll be making another giveaway for sure. Um, so, yeah, make sure to uh, stay tuned for more, and I'll see you in the next one.